Now, the next important topic is moment of balance axis. Now, all this discussion so far, and with the definition the R cross F, it can be applied to a moment about a point. Right? So, let's say this picture right here, you have a force, okay, apply at this point right here on this rigid body, okay, this is a wrench, right? So, sure, you can apply the moment equation, you can always find the moment about point O, about a point, okay? Exactly R cross F. Where R is measured from this point, where you take moment about point O, to this point, okay, where the force is applied, so that's R right there. So R cross F gives you moment O, okay, about point O. So, <clears throat> so that's fine, that's fine and dandy, no problem. Okay, this moment right here, R cross F, right, it gives you the total effect, right, the total moment, right, the effect of this force, right, to to want to rotate this rigid body about this point, okay? So this is the moment, and this is the direction of the moment, something like this, right? Because when you look at it this way, right, an x, y, and z coordinate, right? And well, this this right here is it's a lot nuts, right? So just look at the uh, uh, the picture in the book on page 139, right? So it's a, a wheel, the lug nut in the middle, or sort of in the middle for most cars, but you know, let's say it's a sports car and a single lug nut in the right in the middle. And this is a wrench, right? Okay, so you apply this force up. Let's say you know this is a U, you know, trying to pull this wrench up. At this position, okay, when the wrench is at exactly this position, right? So this arm right here is like you know, horizontal to the ground. The moment generated by this force, this upward vertical force, at this very instant, points out this way. Okay? That's because of this definition, R cross F. R is on this right here, this line, and F right here. So the space, right, the plane generated by this R and F, right, is like, like this space right here. So this is the vertical space. Moment, then, is perpendicular to this space, which is coming out of this this plane right here, right? So this moment at this very instant is horizontal. It's coming out this way on the x y plane. The question is, in this particular application, this love nut application, is m not meaningful? Is it a good measure? of the effectiveness of this force right here. Okay, as far as as far as taking this lug nut out of this wheel. Okay. This M naught moment about point O is not a good measure okay, of the effectiveness of this lug nut coming loose. Because this lug nut can only go in one direction. That is, it can only travel in the y direction, right? It's because you want to take this lug nut out this way, in the y direction. It cannot go in the x or z direction. That's constraint, right? So, by using this m not, it's, it's not really that meaningful, okay, as a measure. Uh, of this uh, this application, so this lug nut coming loose. So instead of talking about moment about point, we can now instead define moment of this force about this y-axis. Okay, so call it my moment about this y-axis. So moment of a force about an axis, okay, as far as the magnitude is concerned, just the scalar, okay, very, very similar to moment about a point. Moment about a point is well, the scalar okay, is magnitude of force times 
D, where D is the shortest distance, right? Shortest distance between point O and F. In this particular example, I apply my point F straight up, which is so happened to be perpendicular to this, this R vector. So D is exactly the magnitude of R in this case. Okay? So so this is a moment about this point O. But moment about an axis, this y axis, is equal to the magnitude of this force, F, times the perpendicular distance between this force and the axis. That's it. Alright? So you extend this line of action of this force and then then you can measure the distance between this axis, the axis y, and the force, which is exactly this guy right here, this distance. Okay. So in this case, in the picture right here, this is my distance d, and this d makes an angle theta with the x axis. Right. So if you look at this triangle right here, this triangle. This is actually a right triangle. Okay, so this distance is exactly well. D becomes the hypotenuse. Okay, so this is D cosine theta. Okay, so let's call it dy. Okay, D in the y axis, okay? the y component of D. Okay. So D cosine theta. So dy. Basically, F times D cosine theta. So, we can extend this to any general axis. So, in general, the moment of a force about any axis, some axis, axis A, okay, equals the magnitude of the force times the distance between the line of action of the force and axis A. Okay, call it DA. Okay. So distance between force and A axis. That's it. Okay. So I want you to say the shortest distance. Okay? So our example here, the short distance is exactly dy. Okay?